Okay, we're gonna go into what they call the beef barn. Already, this is a really gorgeous crock right here. 85, that's massive. This is like a four gallon, but it's brown, which is really nice. Really pretty. This is a really cool jar up here. Look at these Oh, I've never seen them with the lids. I know, they've all got the lids on them. Oh my. The labels are all intact. 48 with the label on top of the lid. I've never seen him with a lid, let no, alone the label on the no, lid. I have not seen that. It's more of enough. More of the numbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Massive. A little sideboard hutch, yeah. There's some demijohns down here. Way down here. They've got 72 on this one. 72 on this one as well. So they're both 72, even though that one's much larger. And 28 on the farmhouse scale. There is a lot of Christmas out. I'm not ready. Seventy-two on the other two demijohns. So this size is good for mm -hmm. the bigger ones. You I just mean, don't like them white. I, I, you like them more of a toned down yeah, see that cream, different cream, but dirty beige. Look at that massive demijohn down there. Ninety-two. I love the old sign. It says for rent. Gosh, there's just so much stuff here, you guys. Let's look at this old, um, I guess maybe workers clock in and out. I don't know, because there's an A to Z and then there's numbers. 201 all the way to 343. Wow. Lots of big Christmas stuff here. Oh my gosh. The Christmas trees. Oh, 38 for the nutcrackers. And they work. I mean, just look at all this stuff, like the, the trees, these little things. Oh, they're ornaments. I don't know what this means. NS, like no trees. I've never seen that. Washboards. The washboards, they've got 18, 12, 12. I have this exact piece of ironstone. It's only 10. 10 on that. I have the exact same one. You do? Yeah. It's just kind of like, you're like the price. You just can't beat it, you know? How much is this thing? Do you not see a price? They're like little oh, tiny yeah. white tags. Eight. Eight wow. on the mini. Wow. And 10 on the big one. I mean, that's like crazy. Other vendors have had that today for, I would say, 30. I don't think I, I have That's a set. I don't think I have that set. The small one's definitely really cute. Let's look more at the pictures. I mean, what a variety of stuff here. I almost can't describe how it's just, you can find new here, you can find old French, Kentucky. It's great. Here's another one. <gasps> There's a freaking stink bug right there. 
I think. Okay, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Never mind. Ooh. There's a stink bug right on the top. I didn't want him to get mad and like spray me or something. But they've got 70 on this demijohn, so that's kind of the common price we're seeing today, which is 70, 72. It looks like there's some stuff on the outside as well. Let's go around. Chips. Seventy. I know. Because we came here one year. Do you remember these? Yeah. These are all one twenty nine yeah. for the massive. These would be cool in your tree. Yeah. If you bought, you know, twelve of them. Put them outside in your front yard. Not sure if they would just rust up, but. So these little side booths are just like kind of mini vendors. So the folks that just have a tiny, tiny little cube space on the outside of the big barns. Oh my gosh, this is like super creepy. 250. Okay, we are now going into sheep and goats. There's mom. She's already ready, look. <laughs> she said she would say hello today because she's got her sunglasses on. Hello, hi everybody. Look at her necklace, show them your necklace. My vintage. Vintage necklace. My vintage yeah. ancestor. It's very cute. All right, we're going into sheep and goats. And it's warming up a little bit. So we were able to take our coats off, not as freezing and sniffly. Oh, I love these old inkwells. These are so cute. So this one says Levant and Levant oh, Knott's Langley, Langley Mill. Like that one the best. It's cute. It's really pretty. Is she? No, you close Okay, like this one. It's cute. At least wait till after they pay. New York. Like a wood little horse head. 30 on that. Here's another one. 69, and this one has a lid. Look at that. The bird dog's print is only 95. That's really cute. That's nice. Here's another little inkwell with the pen. 15 on that one. 12 for the pen. There's another little inkwell with the pen, oh, which is cool. That. That's 12 on the pen, 15 on that. But I still like this one. I'm going to go for this one. A bunch of uh, farmhouse scales under here. Let's take a look. 68 on that one. 62 on this one. So I would imagine somewhere in the 60s on that one. All right, I think I'm just gonna get this. Okay. I have one of these. I like them, yeah. Hello. Oh, you know what I'm yes, it's 14 on Careful this. Careful, you're seeing videos. <laughs> one, two, three, four. And I have cash. Okay. If that works. 14. Yep. Thank you very you much. Go. I appreciate it. Here. There you go. Oh, perfect. Thank you.
Look at this booth as well. Lots of really pretty stuff. Look at this huge five gallon. Wonder what the price is on that. Oh. They've got 150 on the big five gallon stoneware piece. Nice printer's tray. Oh my gosh, 115 on the printer's tray. Holy crap. This is a really pretty stoneware crock. Expensive prices here. Yes. Because yes. these you can get for 15. Yeah. Um, Emma's very antique mall and she's got 65. Oh wow. So she said 15. You can get these at Am Emmitsburg Antique Mall. You don't have any. And Emmitsburg Antique Mall is Pennsylvania? Yes. Pennsylvania. But that's why it pays to shop around. Yeah. Places. So a lot of this stuff, we've, we've seen it before or we're familiar with common prices. So some stuff for us, we're like, that's way too high. We're not going to pay that because we've seen it other places a little bit lower. Yeah, vintage scale. 36, see that's not bad because a lot of people are selling these for 60 today. I usually only spend 15 or 20 to resell. But if you're buying this for yourself, 36 is a great price. It is. This is not bad, 44 for the big um, kettle one, teapot. More blow molds, but Elena told me not to call her anymore about blow molds because oh. she needs to stop. She's personally stopped herself. Forty-eight on that crock there. So some of the booths are a bit higher prices, and sometimes we get halfway through and it's just high price after high price that we kind of are like, okay, let's go. 49 on the big pumpkin blow mold, but we've been finding those at our local markets for 35 or less. So once you kind of find a good deal like that, it's very tough to pay more than that. This is kind of neat just to put out for Halloween because it's orange and black. But I have a medicine cabinet, an antique medicine cabinet that I'm using. So this would look a bit odd to say coffee randomly amongst like poison and medicine jars. So but it's neat. The pair of large brass candlestick holders are 65. That's not bad. Oh, I have bought from here before. I have bought from here years ago. I, I bought probably yes. six brushes from them. So they've usually got some good stuff. Yeah, this couple has always got some good stuff. Roseville, Ohio cup. Nice old jars. The black skates are cool, but I have a white pair at home. More ironstone. 22. Oh, mom found some shoes for her dolls. Look at these adorable shoes. Aren't they lovely? 22. But they even have, like, you could still see the nails where, The nails when they put them together. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. 22. And the buttons are so cute. Of course, the ironstone jugs. That one's 55. 55, 85 on all the jugs. See, here's that jug again. I told you the same shape. Yes, it is. 30 yeah. on that one. There you go. It's a common one. Wow, look at that big chocolates box. 125 on that. 60 on the Coca-Cola box. And then 40 on the barrel. These ones are cool to put Christmas trees in. 35 on this one. 
And more old windows, the lead windows. Lots of galvanized bits. Buckets, good for Christmas trees as well. Some more brushes. Oh, this is like a little paddle thing. Let's see, rolling pins, 22 on the green rolling pin. We just saw one a moment ago for 17. And then the watering can is 40 and it has the spout. That's a, that's a good price. And then of course the little one is 30, no spout. Always cute. Okay, we're gonna go into we're gonna go into sweet clover. These are always cool. Twenty four on the Santa cups. Oh, these are neat. The little baby deer, 14. They're so cute. For like a mantle. Lots of blankets. Lots of Christmas. Books are cool. Really nice piece of furniture here. Look at this curio cabinet too. I've never seen one that had uh, this inside. I've never seen a curio cabinet that had that detail there. With the, with the yeah, on it, the yeah, the stuff. etching in the glass. This piece is nice too, if you could strip it down to natural wood. Yes, that's beautiful. Oak, $3.99 on that. Lots of old pictures. Fifty-five on the Santa cookie jar. Holy crap, this is so heavy. Oh my god, brass square picture, Italian. This is really, really heavy. Oh my god. Seventy-five on kidding? the dress. Are you kidding me? Yeah, the prices are really, really expensive at this one. The that brass Italian jar, mm -hmm. super expensive as well. We need to leave this one. Yeah. <laughs> Some good stuff, but just unfortunately, really high prices. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the barn called Horticulture. Lots of stuff outside as well, just everywhere. Dough bowls, tables, furniture. It's probably gonna be pretty packed in here. Cute. So we have 225, but I can do it for 195. <laughs> a lot of um, aftermarket refurb, refurb, yes. you know, reproduction. Yes. There's a booth in the corner. Let's go to the booth in the corner. Excuse me. 
There's a booth in the corner that looks like it's got some authentic vintage stuff over here. The old Bell telephone, yeah. Look at the Bell telephone booth. How cool is that? They got wax canvas bags. Like mine. Very cool. Another horse picture. That one's $275. Still more than what I paid. This is neat. 42. Guess you put some candies down or something on that. I don't know. Some more horse pictures. Some hats. $76,000. The phone booth? The phone booth is 6000 she said. Anybody? Any takers? Any takers on the phone booth? This nice oil painting. 165 Phone booth, 6,500. How cool. Look at that. Old picture in there, creepy. Some dried floral. What's it gonna be like out there? Bird pictures are cute. Bird pictures, yeah, they are pretty. I love this. What would you do with that? Um, I'd just use it for display, but I'd wanna put some kind of a pillows or something pillows on it. Like ticking mattress. Yeah. Yeah. That first bowl we found was so nice. It was nice. That one doesn't have a price. Just a code, shop code. Shop code, yeah. So there's no price. I hate that when people don't so do a price. Because be when it's so busy, it's like you don't really want to fight the crowd to find the price. You'd rather just gorgeous. know. This is gorgeous. Now you could use that as a fireplace. Oh, yeah. In the fireplace. To like a safety cover. Yeah. That is, that is neat. It would be perfect in front of your fireplace. Just don't turn the fireplace on when you put it there. Yes. <laughs> it's a French footboard, but nice. it would be gorgeous. What's the price on it? 185. Oh, 185. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's beautiful. It's really pretty. You'd have to see if it would make it, though, but that's really cool. Yeah, it probably would. I was gonna say, you guys, she should have bought it. She's gonna let it go. It's nice. Let's not peer pressure her, but it'll totally fit. It'll go right in front of her fireplace. Yeah, it would be beautiful. <laughs> just beautiful. Just go ahead and go ahead and comment that she should have just now bought that. Make her feel bad about she's it. She's gonna regret it when she does. exactly when she watches the video back. She's gonna go, dang it! You know what? That was really nice. You know that fireplace thing I was gonna get? I should have bought it. <laughs> This is a cute little black croc. No price. Oh, 14. That's not bad for a little croc like that. Dark one. It's black, isn't it? Yeah. That's a nice one. That is nice. That's not bad. A little dark one for my mantle. I could do that. No. I don't think we came into this booth. It was really busy when we first came in. When we first walked in, it was everybody hit the first couple booths immediately. So we just walked right past them. Yeah, because this one's only 22. Fifty for the pair.
This one's cute. I love one that has a little fluted top like yes. that. Yes, yes, that's a nice one. This one's nice too. Oh my gosh, the brass. This one's only 12. Horse. This one's only 12. There's more over there. This 45 for that, but oh, his head's a bit, it looks like he ran into a wall. There's more brass <gasps> pieces over there. Why is this so? Well, because he did, he hit Oh my God. He should be cheaper then. I don't know, he's cute. Yeah, because this one, 49. No, they're both. Oh. Okay, it's time to go. There's some smaller ones. Oh my God. Cross pieces. Like that. Look at that big iron stone jug. So pretty. Can't believe I haven't bought any iron stone. Oh no, I did buy an iron stone piece. I bought a really, I bought a small one, I think. It's everywhere. Yeah. I did get one. I can't remember what it looks like, but I know I got one. Okay, I'm gonna go pay for this. This one's cute, but it's got a huge trip. I love this tray for this table. Oh, it's got a big old spider on it. But how much is the tray? I don't see a price. You guys know I hate hunting for a price. It's like, ugh. It would just add some height to my table in the front room. <sighs> no price, okay. Fourteen seventy. Are you going cash? Yeah, cash, yes. Do you want me to wrap it and put it in the bag? Yes, that would be awesome. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. And there's a wooden tray that has a bunch of iron stone out there. Is that part of? Yeah. Um, it's for sale. It's uh, thirty nine. Thirty nine. Okay. Thank you. I think that's fourteen. Yeah. No, you're perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. Wow. So I got the dark crock for fourteen. He said 39 on the riser, which I think is a bit much. It's not that like statement wise. You know what I mean? Like if it was like really, really a statement piece, then I'd go for it. Otherwise it kind of just looks like it came from home goods. So I'll pass. Mom bought something. What'd you buy? All that herb in that basket, sweet Annie. Yeah. I bought it all. Oh, what? Let's go see. Mom's been hunting for the sweet Annie, apparently. Apparently she just bought all this sweet Annie. Oh my God, I thought mom got that tiny thing there. She got all this. See it? Mom bought this. I thought she got those tiny little bushels back there. She got all this. How in the heck, and what in the heck are you gonna do with all that? So it's called Sweet Annie, yeah. it's, it's a herb, and I add it to my dolls. Oh. And I normally pay, say, $12 a bunch. Well, and they're small bunches, so I've got quite the deal. You got all that for $30. I got all that for $30. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm back, and that was an absolute blast. I love it every year. It's 12 o'clock, so we went in there at 8.30 and spent all those hours until the 12 o'clock public, public admission access. So, so much fun. Surprisingly, you will see, I did not show you my haul video because coming up here this weekend, we actually brought our little guy with us as well as our dog. And so my car is max capacity with a stroller and babies. So what, my, what I did was my dad actually took my haul with him into his car so that we can drive the four hours back. As you saw throughout the video, I really scored big when I hit that vendor that had all of the stoneware at such good prices. I mean, 20 bucks, $22. Some of that I will keep for myself and some of it I will just be selling in my Etsy shop. So really, really happy with my stuff today. Always love this market. Holds a close place in my heart. 
I come here every spring and every fall. So I had such a good time and I hope you enjoyed this. I had to make multiple videos of this one because it's just so, so many vendors, hundreds of booths, hundreds of people coming from across the country for this market. And so I can't wait to come back here for the 2024 spring market. That's gonna be a lot of fun too. So I'll be sure to take you with me and thanks for watching.